What's going on there guys? Good evening. It is the Earth Master here on the live stream with an update video on this uh, beautiful Wednesday evening. Uh, the first day of December 12-1-2021. Bunch of ones and 21s in there. Pretty cool. 5.48 p.m. California time. Latest quake on the globes. A 2.5 earthquake into the region of Northern California. Let's go ahead and check out what's going on out there along the West Coast with the latest map here from the USGS. Uh, let's see if I make sure I get this set up correctly, which I think we are. Okay. Uh, latest quake, 2.5 around the Dixon area. That's uh, right around Sacramento, Vacaville, Fairfield region around the Delta. Looks like a 2.5 striking um, in the Central Valley. Let's see Dixon over here. Not 100% certain uh, about fault systems around here. 5.0. Uh, in the depth range, five five kilometers that is. And I wanted to see if this has been reviewed by a seismologist. We're looking at an automatic status here, so this could change on the location because we don't see too many earthquakes here in the Sacramento Valley area. There is a Great Valley Fault Zone that runs through here that does not show up on the USGS map. But far as this region here, we just don't see too many earthquakes in that area. Uh, of course, that's 2.5 and above. Let's go ahead and drop this down a little bit here. See what's going on in Northern California. Pretty quiet up and down the board throughout the entire West Coast. Uh, down here in Southern California, uh, looks a little bit more active around the Ridgecrest area. But Long Valley Supervolcano, Antelope uh, Valley region there on the eastern crest of the Sierra. All pretty quiet, including diminishing earthquake activity in the south part of the uh, um, San, San Andreas Fault System there. Not a whole lot going on. Ridgecrest, about the only area showing some uh, normal background activity at the moment. Uh, around the Utah area, we are seeing some movement take place out there uh, in the mountains with a little swarm of activity uh, throughout the Utah region. A couple of scattered microquakes throughout that area of Utah. Up here in the north, Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, all kind of just scattered out and about when it comes to microquake activity. Not a whole lot of swarming. No major movement taking place in the western part of the states there. Uh, even as we look over here to the east, middle part of the country, southern plains, all pretty quiet. A couple of earthquakes throughout the Oklahoma and Texas region. And a couple earthquakes in the New Madrid zone. This here is, uh, I've been kind of watching that there pretty closely. Over the last seven days, we've seen a swarm of activity in the New Madrid zone area. Uh, over the last day or so, a couple twos kicking up there, including a 2.6 today. Around the New Madrid zone, eastern part of the country, pretty quiet, uh, except for this 1.6 near Benton, Tennessee. Pretty deep on the scale there, 12.4 kilometers uh, below the surface. Puerto Rico, pretty uh, scattered activity out there. Not a whole lot going on. This little 3.3 around the Mono Sea Mount, 31 kilometers around the Puerto Rico Trench area. Other than that, uh, in that area of the world, not a whole lot going on. El Salvador, 4.4 into the Middle America Trench. We have seen a swarm of deep movement uh, pretty much from this area down to the south into the Peru-Chile Trench where it continues with some deep earthquake activity. Uh, looking at uh, some major deep earthquake activity. Quite a few fours kicking off here in this region of South America around Bolivia, uh, the Chile area. Um, let's see what else we got here. Now remember, we had that 7.5 up north here with no aftershock sequences. Um, so I think, I, I'm going to go out on a limb here. I think we should be watching this area southward pretty closely. And the reason why I say that is because of all the deep, further deep movement into this region of southern uh, South America. We are starting to see a little, little bit of earthquake activity around the locked area, subduction zone of the uh, Peru Chile Trench, right around the area where that uh, major 9.5 earthquake struck back in 1964. A lot of deep movement in this area could uh, indicate uh, some further uh, release of pressure here pretty soon along the Peru Chile Trench. I don't think we're going to see it further up here. It's possible because that 7.5 was pretty deep. Uh, we'll have to pay close attention to this area. Uh, over the next couple days or so. See if this deep movement continues in the South America region. South Sandwich Islands, a little 4.9. Uh, 
uh, around the Hawaii area out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Some activity kicking up around the southeast area of uh, the Big Island and a little bit more earthquake activity around the Loihi Seamount 2.1 out there in the Pacific. All other areas looking fairly quiet. A couple, couple scattered quakes up here to the north and around Mauna Kea. Other than that, uh, no major swarming or activity to report there on the Big Island. Japan still seeing some activity. Uh, inland into the Japan Trench. Some deeper movement taking place still in that area of the Pacific Plate. Further down south, Papua New Guinea region and the Solomon Islands all looking very quiet over the last 24 hours. Over here to the west, missing a lot of activity. There's not a whole lot going on here, folks. Uh, Tahikistan region, 4.6. Mediterranean Sea areas to the west, all quiet throughout the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, so kind of watching the West Coast, South America region here, uh, including up and down this, uh, pretty much down this entire uh, stretch here. Could see some further movement uh, pretty soon. Yellowstone National Park, there's not a whole lot going on. Looks like they finally got some of the data coming into the stations there. Uh, this had been absent of data for the past couple days there following the Japan earthquake. Not for sure why, but probably just a, a strange coincidence there. A little bit of movement, uh, not a whole lot of swarming going on. A couple small microquakes around the Madison River, Norris Junction area in the northwest uh, northwest corner of Yellowstone National Park. And as uh, far as trimmer activity goes, in the uh, Pacific Northwest, we'll go ahead and check that out real quick. We've got about six epicenters of trimmer. That's about the most we've seen here in, in a little bit, and that's not saying a lot here, folks. Still pretty quiet in my book uh, when it comes to the trimmer activity along the Cascadia. It's been like this for about two weeks now of just nothing. Uh, you know, these little six trimmers not, uh, not producing too much in the way of trimmer activity along the Cascadia. Solar weather activity in the sun department, solar department. Of course, last night they had an unexpected KP5 storm index up there, KP5 index on the uh, geomagnetic, geomagnetic field in Aurora forecast. Released a map here. It was kind of unexpected, but uh, kicked up some auroras at the higher latitudes and whatnot. Looks like over the last hour or so, a little bit of heightened um movement or not movement but uh incoming solar wind as well kp4 index currently in the yellow with the aurora oval here looking uh a little amplified not a whole lot but uh, could see some further aurora for uh roars in the northern latitudes it looks like uh tonight and tomorrow 50 percent chance there but uh looks like that's we're already we're already above that our solar flaring activity goes pretty quiet 30 percent chance of a sea flare not a whole lot going on uh, when it comes to sunspot activity pretty quiet check out the uh, earthquake activity along the coast of canada up here not a whole lot of further movement along the cascadia at least the northern end of the cascadia subduction zone all this activity from last week and even prior uh, to the week looks like uh, up north here is the latest earthquake on the map not a big one, just a little one, 2.1 in the uh, Alaska area. Other than that, things are uh, pretty calm throughout the western part of Canada. Not a whole lot of movement taking place there in that region of the, uh, of the world. All right, folks, have a, a good night out there. Going to jump off here and um, enjoy the evening. Hope everyone stays safe out there. Just kind of... Uh, Kind of a waiting game at the moment. Uh, West Coast, I think, should be uh, moving pretty soon. Uh, looks like we may already be with that 2.5, so we will be keeping an eye on it. And, uh, of course, live stream is up and running. I am making a little adjustment here on the globe. Looks like it wasn't quite at the 24-hour map uh, when it comes to adjusting earthquakes here on the globe. It was it looked like it was, it was about 20 or so, 20 hours, so I like to keep it at about 24 hours of earthquake activity on the globe. Of course, the red rings indicating older earthquake activity, which there is quite a bit of here on the globe. White rings indicating uh, most recent. And of course, the green flag 
uh, 2.5 Northern California, the most recent earthquake there on the Earthquake 3D globe. So, all right, guys, have a good night. Stay safe. We will chat you guys another time. Peace out.